Have you ever dreamt of being a paranormal investigator? This week, I interview Alameda Paranormal on how to be an investigator, essential gear, software, and tools, and how to connect with the paranormal community. Hi, I'm Alejandro. I travel to unbelievable places and explore our past. I am the Dead Explorer. Hey everybody, this is Alejandro. I am in Tombstone, Arizona, home of the OK Corral, Birdcage Theater, and a lot of paranormal activity. And I'm here with Alameda Paranormal from the Bay, California. And we're here to talk about how someone can get into um, ghost hunting, how someone could become a paranormal investigator. So Summer, if there's somebody watching and they really want to get into paranormal investigating, how, sh how do you recommend that they start learning? How do you get into it? Uh, well, the first thing they got to do is, is make sure they kind of follow the rules. Um, you know, don't break into some haunted building. Um, be, just be safe. Um, the other thing is, you know, just get out there and do it. You, you got to learn by experience and, and just know that there's nobody in this world who is an expert at ghost hunting. It, it's just not possible. Um, so just get out there and do it. You know, get your video camera, get your audio, get whatever you want to try and just get out there and try it and, and see what you get. Basically, it sounds like there's nothing better than just going out there and getting at it. Would you say that? Yeah, absolutely. That's how I learned. I, you know, I didn't find some book on ghost hunting and, you know, take notes and, and do it. I just went out there and grabbed my camera and, and here I am. Talking about, you know, take, getting a camera, maybe getting some tools to get started and just going out there. So, uh, Jenny, you, with equipment, what is the basic equipment you would recommend somebody go out and get to, to just go out there and start trying to capture something? Honestly, the best equipment anybody can have is themselves. You know, you can go along on an investigation and just experience it for the first time. I don't recommend when you first start out investing a ton of money in equipment. You want to get out there, make sure you like it, see how fun it is. Once you realize it's great, then you can go out, get a night vision type camera to be able to record some video. You get a di digital audio recorder to get the audio down. And then you just go out and have fun with it. Expand your equipment arsenal as you see fit. When you find gaps in what you need and things you want to observe, find the right equipment to fill it but just have fun with it that's that's the key absolutely great advice and you brought up um, you know a night vision camera a digital recorder so are those the basic tools everybody should have once they've gotten their feet wet and is there anything else maybe they should try to get you know when they're basically getting started there's some basic equipment that a lot of uh, groups have uh, and one of the great parts about being in a group is it cuts down on the expense. You can consolidate equipment. You're able to get a little bit more out there in terms of what you want to do. There's mel meters, temperature gauges, IR lights. There's a ton of different things you can get. Yeah, absolutely. And again, just looking at uh, from a beginner, what's a good place for them to go and get uh, equipment at? Maybe they're trying to get it cheap. And, um, and, or can they make some their, on, on their own? Well, I am so glad you asked that question. Um, I think the best thing that uh, a beginner can do is go to YouTube and look up videos on how to make your own ghost hunting equipment. Um, it's important to remember that there's not one piece of equipment out there that detects ghosts. It, it, it's just not possible at this point, unfortunately. Um, but if they go to YouTube, they can experiment with different types of equipment to collect data and make it themselves for much cheaper than, say, buying them on the internet somewhere. Very cool. So somebody can basically go out, make some gear on their own pretty cheap and get started. It's, you know, you're out there, you're capturing this stuff. Do you need any software in your computer that you recommend somebody have to own or, or is, you can basically get away with, with nothing? Um, there's a ton of free software out there that you can use. Uh, depends on how far you want to go with it. Uh, I tend to use uh, some of the Adobe suites stuff they work pretty well for me but there's a ton of audacity is a great one it's free and there's there's many out there just to put it all together you know somebody's going out there and they're getting some software and 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 they're getting some tools and they're trying to meet people out in the community to kind of expand is there any uh good organizations or websites people should go to uh to kind of get in touch with the community uh when we first started up we got a Facebook page, just let people know here we are, and started networking through Facebook. Also, they can go online to ghostvillage.com. That's a paranormal directory. They can get in touch with other groups, maybe groups in their area that they can work with or you know get mentored by or what have you. Um, just basically social media 
and and just do a basic internet search and you'll find all kinds of ghost hunting sources. So you brought up the Facebook page, you also have a website, so if people want to get a hold of you, how can they find you? Uh, they can visit our webpage, it's www.alamedaparanormal.com and they can also visit us on Facebook under the same name. If you want to get a hold of them, make sure you go to their website, go to their Facebook page and hit like. This is Alejandro, I'll talk to you later, bye. Next week on Dead Explorer, our paranormal research announcement that will help all paranormal channels on YouTube. Make sure you tune in for more Dead Explorer.